Hey all, I was very excited at the response I received yesterday on my video using word swag and um, I stated in that video that I, it was free but apparently it's $3.99 but I just bought it so long ago and this old mine cannot remember everything anymore um, but today we're going to uh, review this one called uh, typorama and I re I just bought this one recently so I know it was a dollar ninety nine and I think um, I don't know word swag is in the Android and uh, typorama might be too often all of these are in um, you can find similar things if not the exact thing in both stores so um, what uh, I am doing is um, that was yesterday I'm going to go ahead and get these old notes uh, from uh, that we were doing from yesterday's uh, video and I'm going to hold down and then I'm going to click copy and now that is on my clipboard and I'm going to go back and open up this one for Typorama with the big T. Um, you can search uh, your app stores for typography uh, apps and find all sorts of things to play with but um, these two are the ones that I have uh, liked the most so far so you see this comes up similarly to word swag and uh, you can choose any one of these images I mean you can just keep going on and on you can up here at the top use a photo from your camera roll you can use transparent if you see the transparent right there um, where uh, it keeps um, transparency around your word art and then you can use that word art in uh, your digital scrapbooking pages after you get it off your phone or you can use another app to bring that in to create a layout um, right on your phone um, and use it this is great these are great um, ways to put short journaling into layouts made on your phone um, you can click here to uh, search for a word um, um, let's see what happens if I do texture uh, you can search for anything you want but here are some uh, things that came up with their uh, texture some of this is texture um, so let's just choose uh, you know this rain and um, on this app you can see it gives you a variety of different crop sizes um, I am just using square which is an Instagram <coughs> and you see it puts that size up there now this threw me first um, I did my first one wrong but if you use your fingers and um, spread them out you can actually then zoom and crop this image you can go right or left which is great which is different than word swag that crops it for you so you can use any part of this image that you want by moving it around and then click done and it comes up here with your working file double tap to edit the text so I'm going to double tap and this is what's different than word swag I don't have to sit here and delete that text I can just hold down my finger and then hit paste and uh, there is my text in there um, so uh, you can see I have 173 words left I think they uh, note that you're allowed 250 in this app and then I'm going to click done and there it puts my text in of course it's white so I can't read it down here at the bottom are your varieties of colors um, that one there seems very readable so let's just go with it maybe uh, there's just a ton of colors uh, 
um, here's those dual colors. There's a lot more of them in here. Ooh, I like that one. Um, so uh, there's a lot more of them in here than uh, in the other app to choose those dual and even triple colors. And then um, we have here a first tab is textiles, which it, def it defaults to. And um, in, in these, you just click on one of them. And you don't have the one, two, three, four, five like in Word Swag. You can just click right down on the same one again. And it will give you uh, different choices. Now, you can see it's not very readable. So um, if I don't, if, if you have a texture or too much action going on in the background, you, you need um, something that's much uh, thicker. But I can reach out here and resize this if I want. And I can say, well, I maybe, oh, it's time to wake up. <laughs> and <laughs> you could say, uh, yeah, but you got a zillion different things out here uh, that you can do. There's a lot more uh, word art things in this one than there is the other one. I'm going to make you all start spending even more money. Uh, because these things are just so much fun. Um, I'm going to need to just stop, but I wanted to kind of, this one here has a star on it, and it wants you to uh, unlock the style by rating in the store. Well, I could do that. That's not too much to ask. <laughs> and uh, this one, I'm not sure how to unlock the style, but it's... Uh, something I'm not going to click on right now. So where was that one with the big text? That looked so good. This one, I'm going to click on it again there because I need something a little bit more readable. There we go. So um, now the next uh, one here is text tools. So we're going to click on text tools and then down at the bottom you see uh, we can actually add a shadow so um, the a shadow is there right now but it's got a zero opacity so to see the shadow you got to upper you know raise the opacity uh, you don't want it too high you can change the color of your shadow you can make it darker or you can find a color that might match your background more um, and it, you can change the position of it. See, I just moved it to the right more. Um, the Y position, move it down some, blur, radius. So these are all things people in Photoshop might be familiar with. But there's more in here than that than just this. Now, this drives me nuts. But <laughs> I haven't quite figured this out yet. But if you click on gradient, it puts the gradient on there. And then I can't get the gradient back off. You see that? I can go back to the shadow, and I can't figure out. Um, do I hit cancel? Yes. Oh, see, and I just lost the whole thing. So I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Choose a crop size and crop it up. And I'm going to put my text back in which is easy enough. Done. And um, I would just, uh, I don't remember what one I had. We'll just make it big again. And just call it good enough for the video. So that you can see that's what drives me nuts about the gradient. I haven't figured out how to take it back off yet. So I just don't click on it unless I intend on using it. I did make a really cool one the other day. Um, eraser, I uh, don't know. Um, let's see what it does. Oh, look, erased part of the word. So you can click undo eraser. So I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. We have the eraser size and the intensity. Let's lower it down. So, oh, look. I'm making it grunge. Well, there you go. I hadn't actually played with this one yet. Isn't that kind of cool? All right. And this one, the 3D Rotate. Now, this is really cool. Uh, you just take your fingers and you can 
Ro look, I can even turn it backwards. <laughs> like a a mirror make people try to read that word. Uh, but look at all I can do with it. Isn't that cool? I just like it. Uh, there, we're just going to leave it like like that. And then uh, click um, adjust the perspective using the slider. Oh, well, that's cool. I didn't hadn't played with that yet. So um, and there's a reset button. I wonder if there was one of them on the gradient. See, there isn't one. <laughs> and now I've got that silly gradient on there again. There isn't one on the gradient. You can change this. Um, you know, let's make it more blue. Um, so I can't figure out if that's a fluke or what. So anyway, go to the filters is your next one. And you can apply a bunch of different filters. And um, it really only works, I think, on the background. But... Um, the, it's just fun. See how fun? Here's vintage. Ooh, that's too dark. Oh, I just got a text message. So, all those faux pas. Uh, you can change it up with filters, and you can if you can change the intensity of the filter. And then the next one is really cool. I, I love these overlays. First one is no overlay, which we start with. But see, you can add overlays and change the intensity of it. I love this one that the hearts, I have used it already. Uh, there's other hearts. These are not working really well with this particular background. But with some of the backgrounds, they're really cool. You can add see that's kind of cool with the light ray coming in the flares there from the top um, I like the flares uh, and you know they just have all these cool things in here to make your image unique see that really changes it um, and they have these stars that you can't see here I love these textures at the end on some papers like if you use a solid color for your background and then add one of these you can see them better you can't see them with the this particular background really well but oh they're fun to play with oh so fun now see that one you can see pretty much and then I could lower the intensity of it so um, then you have adjustments and and this is so cool I mean, there's so much more stuff. Uh, can you tell I'm so excited? <laughs> so you can change the brightness, which uh, really uh, makes a big difference, as well as exposure. Um, if I had a different image, I had one of trees I was playing with before. Contrast. I mean, all these things really make what you're creating unique and make you feel kind of artistic. Your saturation... A uh, vignette. Ooh, let's put a vignette on that one. When I put the vignette on, you can see that texture that I added uh, and uh, blur. So if you wanted to blur out the background, now you can't even tell it's water droplets and it just kind of looks cool. So um, then you can add your own. Well, there goes that. That's my local newspaper texting me. Um, you can put on a watermark if you want. It says, I'll select from my own photo gallery or I'd like to design a new one. And I haven't actually played with that. Maybe I guess I should. Um, and then, uh, oops, there. Plus done. And uh, that's a little watermark there. I didn't design it very well. Uh, maybe it needs different text uh, the box is big you might be able to um, there's not a whole lot to designing this here <laughs> uh, wait a minute what's that say watermark designer yeah uh, so I guess then you could move this wherever you want um, in your image 
so that people like that would be really helpful to put something on there you can lower the opacity to it put a shadow on it I wouldn't put a shadow on that uh, but lowering the opacity kind of blends it in so it's more like a watermark but that would be a great way to put your website on there if it's something that you're creating for your website and then you can click OK and share and um, then choose Instagram or wherever you want to share it it just brings up the sharing and then um, you put it in Instagram and I'm gonna go ahead and do this a little bit because I noticed some people I don't think after playing with my video yesterday yes I saw you out there I was excited um, I don't think some of you understood some of this so I'm gonna go ahead and play with this a little bit um, in here then you can even make more changes if you want uh, to your image uh, anything you want to do <laughs> ooh, uh, that it just can be your own uh, unique thing see um, so many different things that you can do in here um, to even change it even more but when you're done you click next and this is the part I wanted to show you you write in here about your image you know um, you tell people about it but the important part is uh, hashtag so do hashtag Hummies world and see since I've already typed it once it shows up in in my suggestions and um, so I can just put it right in there and then I'm doing the hashtag 30 and there it is since I've already done it once it's in there hashtag thanks and you can even see how many other posts whoops let's try that again how many other posts there are so that means how the amount of people that use that tag and um, uh, the likelihood that other people might click to find your image so those popular ones so you can add as many as you want now I am going to click OK and then you can choose to share it on Twitter or Facebook or not um, and then click share but I'm going to undo this because I don't want to actually post that <laughs> but I want to show you then on uh, my images here's one I made yesterday in that app and um, if I go down here I can click Hummies World and I can see most of these are me I'm waiting for other people but uh, Tammy was the first one to use it she was thankful for this maple leaf and um, Dawn actually then used it also so this is how I can find you and you can find me um, but you know I can click on this 30 days of thanks and see how many other people are uh, thanking people and I can uh, like here's one that's really cool with the military and I can click like and I can comment by hitting the speech bubble um, so uh, I can look and see what other things this person does if I want and follow them so this is how you find people on Instagram so this is how we can find um, each other um, if uh, you click on a hashtag you have this section at the top that says top posts and then um, you have most recent ones so these are the ones that have had the most likes and then um, or and or comments and then down here are the most recent ones so I wanted to take that a step further I may do a whole Instagram app later but um, that is uh, this is the tutorial for this type of Rama and I'm excited about it and I hope you join me in using it and I'm going to be watching for you on Instagram and seeing your 30 days of thanks.